Hey everybody, welcome back to the ST3D video. Like always, I'm VJ. Today I'm super excited to do a review on this bad boy right here. The newest addition to my 3D printer collection, the Creality CR10S. In this video, we're going to do a complete review from top to bottom, go over all of the features that this printer has to offer, and does it really live up to the hype? We're going to find out. Also, is it really worth spending the money from the CR10 and upgrading to the CR10S? I know I'm curious to find out. Are you? Let's get started. There it is, guys, the beautiful CR10S. Now, before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that Gearbest actually sent me this printer. I did not pay for it. Now, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go and open this box and take a look and see what's exactly inside and what it has. You guys really have to give credit to Creality. Uh, the way they package their printers are amazing. I mean, they're very tightly packaged. Uh, once I opened this one, there was no visible damage or anything to the printer itself. Now, the packaging, of course, comes in two parts. The first one, as you saw here, uh, has the box in it and the tape wait tape we don't need no stinking tape and then uh, after that we of course have the new upgraded control box with the new knobs and the better or supposedly better contrast LCD screen so there you go on that and then after that we basically just have the frame we got the top piece right there the bottom piece is on the other side with the heated bed um, so here's everything that the box came with. You got the frame, top, bottom, control box, and the box with all the extra parts. Now this is, for those of you that don't know, a printer made by a Chinese company and it is called a kit, even though in my opinion it really isn't. Uh, it comes 80 to 90 percent assembled already, so it's very easy to get to. So now let's move on and see what exactly comes in the box with all the parts and stuff we need. Now one good thing about this printer guys is you don't need any tools. Once you open this box you will have everything you need to put this printer together. So once the box is open we'll find in here. Of course the first thing we're going to start off with is the is the Bowden tube itself. Uh, this is what we're going to use as a filament guide that goes from your extruder all the way down to your nozzle. Alright, now moving along, you gotta love how they give you just a little bit of PLA. Uh, this is actually good quality PLA guys, so if you guys know what brand this actually is, you might want to pick some up. I don't know what the price or anything would be. Now this is your actual spool holder here. Uh, you just mount the bottom part, insert the tab there, and just twist on, and it should be ready to go. Next, we have the USB cable. Now, this is what you use to connect your computer to the actual printer where the slots are on the side, on the right side. Now, these are all the tools you're going to need and are necessary to put this computer to or uh, this printer together. It's that simple, right there, guys. So it comes with the wrench, the cutters, uh, you got a little screwdriver in there with some Allen keys and things like that. Next, uh, you got your spare parts as you can see here, which is great. I love how they give you spare parts with this printer. I know a lot of printers don't do that. And it's really hard to find these little tiny uh, parts. And this one right here is the sensor that actually stops your Z axis or Y axis or X axis. Uh, it's like a limiter. Now this is the new upgraded filament sensor shutoff. So uh, this is something new that people have been talking about and that the Creality CR10 is advertising. Next we have the manual. This is actually a waste of time to read this manual guys. I recommend just throw it away. There's some useful information on the USB that you can use. Now this is your warranty card here. <clears throat> kind of just gives you a little bit of warranty on the printer. These are your brackets for the left and right side. So when you connect your top frame to the bottom frame, uh, you actually lock it in place with these. Comes with this nice baby blue or sky blue uh, trim that you can put on your printer. I'm going to go ahead and not do that this time. And the plug, they actually uh, gave me a Euro plug. 
but you know what it doesn't matter it's very simple you just get one of the US plugs here plug it right in you're good to go and the final well not final but this is the spatula that of course you would take your prints off with and last but not least the USB drive with the micro SD slot I wasn't too impressed with this one I actually like the older version better it's a little bit smaller uh, the SD card is very easy to remove so that's what comes in the box guys so if you notice here overall this is everything that you get with the printer as far as tools and things you need and last but not least uh, you get this little filament cleaner it's like a little needle uh, I did not get that on my CR10 originally so I got it in this one so I can't wait to try that out apparently it really does help just like the CR10 this thing has a 300 by 300 by 400 print surface the CR10S also comes with a heated bed it is a Bowden tube type extruder and also your nozzle is still the same where it's the MK8 style nozzle one thing I do like about this model that they did change of course you got your two fans right here on the side but if you notice the air nozzle it's no longer hitting the nozzle itself it's actually hitting the tip of the nozzle where it should be anyways now the CR10S has the same frame as the CR10 it is an all aluminum frame also the CR10S comes with this blue strip which uh, you can actually insert between the lines but I didn't really like it too much so I'm just gonna go ahead and leave it off one cool thing I really did like is uh, the housing for the belt here this is an all metal housing so everything I described so far is also included in the CR10 what sets the S apart from the standard 10 well let's take a look one of the main differences here guys is going to be the dual uh, Z lead screws that there is if you notice there's one on the left and one on the right what this is going to do is ensure that your higher prints get the same consistent quality throughout another upgrade they did is they installed this filament runout sensor basically what it is uh, we're gonna do a demo on this later down the line guys but when your filament uh, is about to run out once it goes through the sen uh, sensor it stops the print what that does is entitles you to change the filament out so your print can continue from where you left off unlike the CR10 where once your filament went through and you weren't paying attention it would just keep printing ruining your whole print also another major upgrade they did uh, is actually inside the control box itself so let's go over that a little bit and then I'll show you what the third one is of course as you can notice right off the bat they got the new shiny knob I have tried it out it is a little bit smoother a lot easier to use the LCD, uh, the LCD screen, uh, it's the same size in my opinion. I measured it, it's, nothing's different, but the quality of uh, the display of the writing, the lettering does seem a little bit better. So let's go ahead and uh, turn this on. Another new feature that I really liked on here is if you go to prepare, basically when you're preheating your PLA or ABS, Normally when you did that, it would do the bed first and then do your nozzle. But if you notice here, it's actually doing both at the same time, saving you a little bit of, I guess, time <laughs> in the long run. Now one thing I did notice, and I don't think anybody else is going to tell you that, but the actual mount plate for the hot end and the fan is thinner than what you would find on the Creality CR10. So that one I was a little disappointed because on the CR10 it's a thicker plate, uh, easier to mount and for those of you that have that wobble issue that little amount could have uh, fixed that issue for you. Okay so next what we're gonna do is go ahead and test out the auto bed leveling feature that the new CR10 has. Let's see how easy it is to use. So the first thing you want to do guys is go ahead and just select prepare.
and then from there go ahead and go down to bed auto leveling and once you do that it's going to go ahead and go to auto home and then go to your front left and it's very easy guys after that we, all you have to do is press the next button when you press the next button it's going to go to your back left and then you can go ahead and insert the paper here and level it out like how you want and if you guys don't know how to level your bed properly I will put a link to one of the videos down below in the description after you have this part leveled and from my understanding so far there is no time limit on this uh, it's just whenever you're ready go ahead and hit the next button so let's go ahead and do that now now it's gonna go over to the right back and again you level it out and once that's done you're just gonna go to the front right and once that's done it's gonna go to the center like so and then after you're done with that you hit next step and all it does is to make sure your nozzle is not grinding against the plate itself it actually raises itself a little bit as you can see here so next we're gonna see how good uh, the filament runout sensor really is so we're gonna go and start a print and let's see if it actually stops once it goes through and how easy it is to resume the print so I sped up this part just to kind of show you guys um, how it works I didn't put a whole roll I just cut a little bit of filament off just to put it through the sensor and into the feeder now as you can see here my bed is moving in the background and it's about to stop there it goes so it ran out of filament so the sensor does work pretty good and when that happens you greet it with this change filament error message and all you do is go ahead and change the filament out now what I did is I just put another filament in the sensor just to make it think that a whole new role has been put in and uh, then you just go ahead and go back to your control box and again you'll see this message here just go ahead uh, press it once and then go down to resume print and as you'll notice the print starts right back up so I sped this up as well you can see the filaments going through uh, the filament sensor works perfectly there's no issues whatsoever one important thing regarding the filament sensor guys is once your filament, once your filament actually runs out uh, the control box will give you that error message to change your filament now when you're in the process of changing the filament what the control box does it, t it tells the nozzle and the bed to turn down its temperature now there's a good and a bad thing to this if you notice here uh, the temperature after I've changed it is going back up the bad thing is it takes a little bit of time to get back to the necessary temperature to get it going again the good thing is since your nozzle is coming down in temperature it's not going to ooze out the filament that it currently has in there because your nozzle isn't at a constant temperature so there's a good and a bad to that uh, time I rather just take uh, a wait a little bit longer and not have any oozing but I would still check the nozzle before uh, the print actually starts because there might be a chance it would still leak out alright since we have all the features of the printer covered let's go and jump right into the prints so you can see here I'm printing the Banshee believe it or not guys I've been printing for a while and this is my very first Banshee print uh, the reason I'm doing this is because people said it's a good model to print because of the curves and the straight lines and everything like that so I decided hey why not first for me and you both so here's a fitness product right here guys and I gotta admit I was pretty surprised for using a brand new filament uh, the temperature I did have a little bit higher I found out after having this print finished uh, but everything came out great the lines are straight uh, the sides are smooth um, this was done at 0.2 millimeters and also I had it at 55 or 60 speed I believe and I gotta admit came out pretty good uh, for the printer to print something like this at that speed it was it was pretty amazing I would say I'm very happy with my first print as especially being my first model Banshee that I've ever printed so that said let's move on to the next one this is the vase that I printed uh, based on everybody's recommendation and uh, wait wait a minute 
that doesn't look right. Let's get that fixed. That's much better. Alright, so this is my very first vase, like I said, guys. I printed this at 0.2. Uh, it was done at 45 speed. And, of course, I turned on Incura the under the special mode uh, for vase printing. And I gotta say, for my very first vase print, this thing came out almost perfect. I mean, there was no issues with it whatsoever. Everything was super smooth. The inside part... Uh, there was no stringing, no nothing. Of course, I turned the infill off on it, but I mean, it is just amazing. Now, I did go a little bit thinner. I went 0.4 on the outer wall, but you know what? This was just a test print, and I just wanted to see it. But I gotta say, this machine puts out some great prints, guys. Uh, on my CR10, I printed things this big, but I've never used that special feature or, uh, on here, but. Uh, I had no Z layering issues, I had no zits, uh, no visible imperfections here. Uh, the only thing is the bottom of the vase, you can actually see the layers, but I guess that's a very common thing since the vase actually sits on the bottom part itself. Now there was a few things that I wasn't particularly too fond of uh, with the CR-10S. The first being the filament runout sensor. As you can see, it's very flimsy. It just slides right on. Um, I can see that being a problem down the line. So I'd probably have to figure out a way to get that mounted on to where I can still take it off if I need to, uh, but have it sturdy when it is on. The second thing that I didn't like, and this is my problem with the CR-10 as well, um, the, the Y-axis cable is fairly short, as you can see here. Um, because of that, I have to put my control box fairly close to the printer. I wish I had a little bit more play on it uh, so I can make me build something to keep it a little further away, make it look nicer. <clears throat> but that's my review on the CR-10S, guys. I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, everything I've said is my experience and my opinion only. Now, personally, I had an amazing time printing with this printer. Uh, I mean, it's great. It's built great. It prints great. And not to mention the upgrades that they've done to it is actually worth uh, paying a little bit extra considering if you would do it yourself the price and time that you would put together you can actually buy it together now and be ready to go um, also guys I'm not gonna recommend that you buy this printer I'm not gonna recommend that you don't buy this printer please do your research and your due diligence and make sure this is the right printer for you um, but if you are interested in getting this printer I'll put the coupon codes down below in the description along with the links to where you can get the printer as well. And also I'll put the link to the 3D models that I printed today. And uh, if you guys have any questions or comments or concerns, please leave it down below and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. As you guys know, I respond to all of my comments and or questions that you guys might have. If you liked it, great, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, well, hey, that's just part of life, ain't it? <laughs> So uh, with that said guys, like always, good luck and happy printing.